What's up guys, Big Clyde 34 coming at you today with Cars and Clyde, the antidote for your automotive hangover. Coming at you every Monday, 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. If you're on the vlog channel, there's a good chance you caught this on Sunday because we upload over there a day early. So if you're not there, go get there now. Click subscribe, link in the description. Anyway, today we're talking about the biggest fight the biggest sporting event potentially in all of history. We have Mayweather, we have McGregor. What are you doing with a school bag on stage? You can't even read. Today we're not here to talk about the fight. The bulk of today's video is gonna be talking about their respective car collections. I just wanna let you guys know, before we hop into this video, we are running a little contest. There's only two steps involved. I'll explain a little bit more about that. We're giving some cool stuff away, but anyways, the first step to enter is to thumbs up this video. I'll tell you a little bit more at the end of the video, but anyways, let's get into their Clark collection. I think we're gonna have to head over to Floyd Mayweather's compound to kick this thing off so let's roll a little bit of footage and show you guys exactly what he's working with. So we start out the video and find out that Floyd has a shit ton of Bugattis. From the looks of things he has at least three of them, maybe four. When I watch the videos of like Floyd and his team talking about these cars I feel like they have no idea what they're talking about. They read the badge on the back and it's just like this. Gotti, sport, convertible. I think this is one of his favorites. Gotti, the uh, Veyron, two of them. And then we got the Enzo 2003. Very powerful car right there. So we got total like almost $9 million right here on this. It just seems like Floyd Mayweather is that typical, like, gets a bunch of money, doesn't know what to do with it, buys a bunch of cars that are expensive just because they're expensive. Like, if there was a Honda out there that cost $10 million, Floyd Mayweather would probably try and go buy it. Also, as a Ferrari Enzo, one of the most highly regarded cars in the industry, I think that most people do love the Enzo if they know what it is. You know, he has a Rolls Royce limo. He has multiple lower level Ferraris, uh, a couple Lamborghinis. He just has a little bit of everything that costs a lot of money. Personally, for me, I, like I respect those cars. I enjoy those cars. None of them are relatable. And if I had, uh, he's worth almost a billion dollars now from what we understand. I probably wouldn't have a collection that resembles anywhere near this. I know there are a lot of people who disagree with me on that one, but uh, it's just very extravagant, very, very ritzy and pricey, and, and he just wants to show off that money yet again. There's a little uh, special by Showtime that shows more of his cars, more Ferraris. It uh, looks like an Aventador. And in the big group picture that they do at the end of that special, we see he has, it uh, looks like a G-Wagon. I don't really know my Mercedes that well, so please don't attack me on that one. Uh, see, you know, Rolls is again, a Bentley. So it looks like Floyd Mayweather has a taste for everything super expensive, and that's what his car collection comes down to. Now we're going to move on to Conor McGregor, the guy who I think is going to probably beat Floyd's ass when it comes time to throw fists. Might be going to place a couple hundred dollars on him. We'll see if that happens. When it comes down to it, they say that Mayweather is worth, or has earned, about $950 million in his career, whereas McGregor has earned 20 to $30 million in his career. So you would think that their car collections would be a lot different, and they certainly are, but that isn't to say that McGregor doesn't also have an impressive collection. So as we're scrolling through his Instagram, we'll start there first. It looks like he has an Aventador like Floyd, very nice vehicle, uh, an Escalade to kind of get around in, I guess, another nice vehicle, 500 Benz, uh, a Bentley convertible, Rolls Royce convertible, uh, he, again, it's like a rich guy thing, these guys don't really look like they're car guys, so they kind of just probably go around the dealership, look around, say, hey, I have five million dollars, I want to spend it once, I want that one. You know, he has a bunch of BMWs, and Mercedes. It looks like he has a Land Rover. Uh, so he sneaks all kinds of different cars in there. He also managed to sneak a Corvette, a C7 into the collection, which makes it completely relatable for car guys. Floyd Mayweather doesn't really seem to have anything <laughs> worth less than a couple hundred thousand dollars. So for an average person like you or me, 
presuming that you're an average person too. It's hard to relate to his collection. It's awesome, but it's hard to relate to. Uh, Conor McGregor has a C7, a BMW i8. However, it does look like his collection is limited to maybe 15 or 20 cars tops. Lloyd talks about having a car collection in Los Angeles and Vegas and all these different cities where he has a dozen, two dozen cars. To me, I think both of their collections are kind of boring if, if you want to get personal. I think I would be able to come up with a lot more badass list of cars than these two have with all of their money. And it's just like so generic it kind of kills me before we get to that promised little giveaway i'm doing i want to hear what you think about these collections real quick down in the comments below tell me two things one i want to hear if you think mcgregor or mayweather have a better car collection from what we've seen and i also want to hear maybe two or three cars that you would buy with 10 20 or 20 million plus dollars that mcgregor has or floyd's billion dollars what are a couple of cars that they don't have or that you didn't see that you would include in your car collection but now let's hop up to this giveaway here we go here's how you get in here's the full details everything whoever wins gets a free whatever you want out of the store one item you can pick it you know hoodie shirt whatever i'll throw a couple stickers in there too so like i said first thing you gotta do pound that like button on this video thank you very much for liking it second thing you gotta do yes we're gonna try and get a dyno run in i got this little project truck that i've been working on on the channel right now it's a stock chevrolet silverado uh you need to guess what the truck is going to make on the dyno without going over and you can throw decimal points in there too i believe dyno pools do provide decimal points so the person who gets the closest without going over gets to take home free merch the contest will be open until the day before i post the results of the dyno video that's about all i got guys thanks for watching thanks for subscribing but anyways guys i'm out of here thanks for watching later thank you guys very much for watching if you enjoyed this video at any time i thank you for hitting that like button down below the subscribe button can be found up in the right hand corner of your screen up there to stay updated with all the car things we do absolutely for free down below you'll find my merch to get awesome shirts like this and in the other corner there's a video pick especially for you thanks for watching guys i'll see you next time